In this video, I'm going to show you how to take text from any image and vectorize it for your personal use. So let's go ahead and get started. Start by opening the image we want to trace. So we're going to go to open, file, open, and then open your picture. Now this is way larger than I need it, so I'm going to zoom out with my zoom tool, then use my selection tool, which is the tool in the top left, and hold down shift on my keyboard so I maintain the proportions and then make my image smaller to fit the artboard. This is going to be vectorized, so it really doesn't matter how small your artboard is. I'm also going to hover over the bottom corner so that I can rotate the picture and it's right side up. Now my artboard isn't quite fitting how I want it to fit, but artboards are also resizable in Illustrator. So I'm gonna to go to my artboard tool in the tools panel near the bottom. And then look, I can just click and drag in these edges so that it looks more appropriate. Then I'm gonna double click my hand tool right under the artboard tool. And that will put me back at full screen. So now that I have my image, we are gonna vectorize it. So the easiest way to do this in Illustrator is by going to your properties panel and clicking this image trace button. I always click 16 colors. If you prefer another option, you can play with them and try which one that you like. But once you click 16 colors, then you're gonna wait for it to pixel cluster. But it's clustered, you're gonna click expand. And this will show you all the little new lines that it made in your picture. So it turned all of your image into vector paths. There's a lot in here that we don't really want. So we're gonna click ungroup in your properties panel to ungroup all these lines. Then use your selection tool to click away from it. Now it looks kind of like a picture, but if you hover over it, you can see all those individual points. But we really only want these letters in the sign. So I'm going to click and drag. So click, select, and drag a large area that we don't really want. And then I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Click and drag a large area I don't want and press delete. And I'm going to do that for all of these big areas along the sides and bottom until I'm left with more or less just the lettering. Now I could continue doing this all the way down, getting closer and closer until I get to the letters. And you can do that if you're more comfortable, but I'm gonna show you another way you can do that. I'm gonna click on this letter W right here. Then I'm gonna go up to select in my menu bar and click same fill color. So that's showing me some other pieces in this image that were selected. It missed the L-C-O-M-E, but it does have the W and the E. So I'm going to group that together and I'm going to move it over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this letter L. Select, same, fill color. All right, and it looks like it got the rest of my letter. So I'm going to group that together and I'm going to move it over here. Then I'm going to select this part here that I don't really need anymore. And I have less to work with. So this part's still grouped. I'm going to go and ungroup it. And there's some obvious pieces I don't need. So I'm going to select, cut. Then I'm gonna zoom into this and remove any of that extra piece that I don't need. Cut that out. I'm gonna cut this out, the part along the top. Put some other pixels over here, that's part of that group. I'm gonna delete this. And we'll fix that W in a second. But next I'm gonna to go to this side and do the same thing. Ungroup it. I'm gonna cut out any of that stuff I don't need. Then I'm gonna move these letters back over so I have welcome in a straight line. Direct selection tool, that's to the right of my selection tool. And then I'm gonna get these points. So it looks like there's just an extra anchor point right here that I don't need. So I'm gonna go down where your pen tool is, right click on that and you'll see delete anchor point tool. You can delete those points that are unnecessary. So I'm gonna delete some of these until it starts to look normal again. All right, so that's looking a little bit goofy. I'm going to now use my selection tool, clear up some of these spaces right here. Then I'm gonna use the smooth tool. So the smooth tool is a little bit further down. Once your letter is selected, you can comb over it and it will smooth out your anchor points. So I'm gonna do that again over here. I'm gonna move this out, move that back in line. And keep messing with the points until they look more appropriate. All right, so I think my W looks pretty good. So moving down, now I could smooth out this E with my smooth tool. So I get some clean lines in there. There's my L. I'm going to remove these dots. I'm going to smooth this piece out right here. Keep going. 
My C is looking a little bit silly, so I'm gonna smooth that out. All right, and you're just gonna keep going until you smooth everything out. The smooth tool is a really awesome tool that does a lot of the work for you. Okay, and here's my M. And again, delete some of these points I don't need. Make sure you click on the point itself when you're doing this or it won't actually work. that up. Use my smooth tool again. I'm going to recreate this little point. All right, and you can keep messing with that and then keep going down. Once you have your letters all aligned how you like them by using the selection tool, your smooth tool, your direct selection tool, you're gonna select all of them. And then you'll see this properties panel open up again. We're gonna click under align, there's these three dots, it's called an ellipses. And then we're going to click this distribute option, vertical distribute center. That's going to evenly distribute all of the letters that we had selected in a line. I'm going to put left align so it's all also aligned to the left side. And then all our letters in a straight line. No, nope, I don't really like that. So I'm going to do center align. There we go. That looks more like the sign. So there you go. You removed all of the letters from an image. So go ahead, try it on your own and leave your comments or questions below. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe.